I owe viewers a lot of updates, and I'm going to try to get them done the next week or two. But anyhow, this is an update on the Viver uh, vacuum sealer. Today we ran up to our local IGA, and they had chicken leg quarters for 48 cents a pound. So we bought like 47 pounds of them, and you know we're getting ready to pack them up and put them in the freezer. So I figured I'd do a quick video on it with an update about the sealer. Uh, we actually love it. We've had zero problems with it. Um, done a couple hundred bags with it so far. Not one seal failure. Not one, you know, failure at all. So, um, we, we like to keep these chicken leg quarters in the freezer because my wife can make a quick pot of soup out of them. Or she also feeds them to the dog for breakfast. She, uh, gives a, or a little girl a little bowl of chicken every morning for breakfast. So, um cost a lot less than dog food and she really enjoys it so you know we like to keep these in the freezer and we do go through quite a few of them and 48 cents a pound really was a, a good price we felt so we stocked up on them and um i'm just gonna go through and show you the that vacuum sealer working again and i know some people had asked for updates about it to you know see if we were any problems with it or anything like that and um I can say absolutely not. The only problems have been my own. And here you can see, you just set them in there. Put the top down. For the first one here, I like to set it on 35 seconds of vacuum time. And then I'll watch the gauge and see at what point it actually hits full vacuum. And I'll then follow on ones I will do at a lower time setting. I just want to make sure it gets up to full vacuum in the chamber. But anyhow, this one was set for 35 seconds. And, you know, it, it seems to be slow when you're watching it, but it really goes fast because you can go off and do other things. You know, this thing just runs unattended and no problems at all. So there we go. There's one done, and you can see it came out perfect. And... I'm just going to go through and load them all up and, you know, do them all at once. Now, there is one thing that we have noticed about this unit. After you get through maybe about 15, between 15 and 20 bags, you start to get the smell of oil vapor in the room that you're working in. Uh, it appears that that vent in the vacuum pump, it must get hot after a while and then you know, let some of the, the vapor escape through that vent. So that's about the only negative we found out about it so far is, um, you know, you will get a little bit of, if you're going to do a bunch of them, you're going to get some smell in the room from the, the vacuum oil. But otherwise, you know, nothing in the food area or anything like that. So it does work good and we've had good luck with it. Now, another thing I found out is whatever you vacuum seal in this, you want it to be cold. Do not try to vacuum seal like a hot turkey soup because what happens is it will just steam the whole bag up and the whole inside of the chamber up and then it will start boiling at a couple seconds of vacuum and, and make the steam even worse and just make a bubbly mess. So whatever you seal in this, it's best to start with it ice cold. Uh, that's like in that butternut video, that, or the first video I did with the butternut. That butternut was fairly hot when I tried to seal it, and that was part of the problem. So otherwise, you know, you can see I'm just going to run through here, and I think this was um, 37 bags in the end, one right after the next. And you can see there, you know, no problem. Just load it up, walk away, do what you want, and, you know, you hear that big whoosh when it lets out the air, lets the air back in, and, you know, it's time to go change the bag. So from my point of view so far, this really, you know, it does look like it's a, you know, real economical unit to buy, and it looks like it's going to stand up long term. Now I see that the, the prices have increased some by now and you know it's like everything else with inflation but um, really I think it's uh, the most affordable chamber sealer that you can buy and it would have been nice if I could have got this in smaller bags but you can see those are um, 8 by 
10 quart bags, I think they were. And there they are, 37 bags at the end. And one other thing that I did make was I take that out for doing liquids. And when I do like the pint bags of liquids and quart bags, I made a little, bent up a little black plastic uh, acrylic piece to go in there. And that lets me hold the bag up like that so it doesn't spill if it boils a little bit or anything like that. So you may want to, you know, just make like an angled stand if you bought one of these to, you know, help out with the liquids. And okay, 8x12, those are the bags that I use this time. And I've been using these Avid Armor bags, a couple hundred of them, and no problem with them either. So the 3 mil, mil bags do work okay. So from here on, I'll, you know, you'll just see this used in my videos, and if anything ever happens to it, I'll do an update, but I think it's going to stand up good, and you know, there goes that chicken right down in the freezer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.